presentation, what to do. This is where we stress talk. Talk to the young people in your life, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, your neighbor's kids. Talk to them. They need communication. They need to get away from those electronic devices and talk to adults. Talk to them about these topics. Get in their minds. What do they think about these topics? That's the only way that you're going to explore what's going on in their world is to open up this dialogue. Tell them, hey, I went to a presentation the other day and I heard about this. Did you ever hear about this? See what they know. Explore this. The more that they talk to an adult, engage in conversation, whether it's at dinner or whether it's a visit or, or whatever it is, the less likely they are to explore these ideas and these concepts that we went over here today. Our young people are very important. They're our future. And then we're going to lose them unless we reach out and start touching them. Okay? Look through their vehicles. Look through their phones. Look through their computers. You have this right. Look through their rooms. Look for these items and have conversations. Don't let, be, don't let the first time that they hear about these things be from one of their friends because they will get the wrong information and they will go down that path. Please communicate. Children are less at risk when parents communicate their expectations. They need expectations. They need boundaries. They need to know that you know what's up in the world. Summit County has come up with the disposable bags, and I challenge you, I'll give each and every one of you one here tonight. There is only four places in this country that are giving these away, or that even have these. Central Florida was the first location, Akron was number two, or Summit County. And it's a disposable bag for your medications. This is basically you have old medications that you're not using. I'm challenging you to go home and clean out your medicine cabinets. Stuff that you've had for years that you don't even know is there. Stuff that you don't need. You had an oral surgery six months ago. You don't need the pain medication. We don't share medications. We don't let people borrow them or anything like that. I'm asking you to take one of these home, tear out the envelope here. It's postage pay. Fill out just a, like two or three questions on here. That's just to keep the program afloat, and they'll give us more of these bags. But put your medications in here. There's a gel in here. You're going to add a little bit of water, or there's some crystals in here. I think this will hold up to 45 pills. Put the water in here, seal, close, shake it for a few minutes, throw it right in the trash. It deactivates and ruins the pills that nobody else can use them. You'd be surprised how many times grandkids or kids, people come to your house on a party, if they're looking for drugs, they go to your bathroom when you're not looking and go to your medicine cabinet or your drawers to see what you have. That's why we're challenging you. Take one of these home tonight. I have a whole case of them. Take one of these home. If you're not going to use it tonight, you may use it next week. Whenever you get the opportunity, but it's to dispose of any kind of medications. And like I said, you can just throw it right in the trash. We do not prefer, we want you not to flush them down the toilet and don't throw them in the trash. Once you can throw them in the trash, once you dissolve them in this medication, in this bag.